Hi guys, welcome back. This is a Protein World review video. Um, these products have been gifted, but it is not sponsored. I am under no obligation whatsoever to like the products, to say anything good about the product. This is my genuine review. Anyway, let's get into the video. Morning everyone. Today I am starting with Slender Pancakes. Now, I did say in my last video that I would try all these out in the next one, so I'm going to. For those of you that want to increase your protein, let's give these a go. I did say I would give them a fair crack, so that is what I'm going to do. But one thing that I was actually looking at when I was reading the back of the packet for the destructions um, was what they actually say about this slender plan. Brand. Anyway, let, let me let me read it to you. It says, oh, slender plan, slender plan. The vegan pancakes are part of Protein World's best-selling weight loss plan, the slender plan. This combines all you've ever wanted from a weight loss plan and more, exclamation mark. Um, health, taste, flexibility, convenience, community, and affordability combined with some of the world's finest raw ingredients so you are guaranteed to achieve the results you've always dreamed of. Check out our website, Protein World. Right. That's what it says, because that was one thing I didn't actually talk about last time. This is, I suppose that is their mission statement for their slender plan. Anyway, so this morning I am starting with the protein pancakes. Uh, these are the red velvet ones. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make these pancakes, show you how they are made, um, so you get a feel for the process. Opening up the bag, so as you can see, freshly sealed, I haven't actually opened them yet. I have tried the mug cake however, which I will show you a bit later. Um, uh, scoop, I need a scoop. It does say, now it does say about shaking it. You know, I know I do know they sell shakers, but they didn't send me a shaker, so I'm having to improvise it slightly. Um, it says four scoops of protein powder. So I am just using a mug. Well, not protein powder, pancake mix. Okay, four scoops of that, and then it does say you can either make it with milk or water it does say almond milk as well but i tell you what i do have is my coconut milk it's already going everywhere it does smell chocolatey it really does smell chocolatey pancakes are done so let's 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 give it a go. First of all, let's try, let's try the pancake on its own before I put anything else with it. Texture is fine. I would say that's okay. You can have definitely taste the chocolate in there. What I would say though, and I think it just depends what it comes down to your taste. You can taste the kind of artificial sweetener in there. Do it's got that certain taste that hits the back of your tongue. It's got that, but that's to say that is just eating it on its own with nothing else. So obviously I have got my usual things I would put with pancakes and that is my yogurt, my blueberries, my banana, so and a bit of maple syrup. So let's go with that. Mm. So if you're eating it with other things, you do tend to lose most of the artificial sweetness but even with that once when, when you've swallowed it you still get the after kick of the artificial sweetener so i'm not keen on that artificial taste um i hunt high and low for uh, zero calorie sweeteners that don't have that overriding artificial thing to it but i would turn around and say for ease of use they are easy to make when you when you're eating them with everything else you don't particularly notice it and if you're not bothered by it then you would probably love them that's that's all i can say because you know what this comes down to personal preference you probably would if you don't mind that artificial taste so for ease of use absolutely so if you haven't got time 
and you want to just do it quick these these are great but there's that artificial taste done anyway i'm gonna eat my breakfast and i'll see you later morning so it's the second day of trying protein for breakfast or the protein powder for breakfast so today i'm trying the slender porridge in double chocolate flavor so i haven't even opened it yet so let's give this a go before we start let's have like how much protein is in it so for uh, 150 grams with water, we've got 12 grams of protein. If you do it with almond milk, you've got 13 grams of protein. I'm going to do it with normal milk, so that'll probably be a little bit more protein, probably more like 14. But let's give it a go. So we need to do our fibre, just in case you're interested. Five grams of fibre in this as well. So we need to add five scoops to a bowl, 150 ml of water or milk, stir, heat 45 seconds, stir, reheat for 45 seconds, stir and serve. One to two servings per day is what I recommend. So, so it does just look like a granular, I don't know if you can see it. all over the counter now. Granular powder, so one. Porridge is done. Um, it's got that nice porridgey consistency. One thing I would turn on and say is though, um, it doesn't make allowances on the back of the packet for different microwave strengths, and my microwave isn't particularly powerful. Um, so I put it on for an extra 40 seconds over and above the recommendation on the packet. But then what I did do then was, it went from being more soupy, as per the packet instructions, to being really, really thick. So then what I did, did do then was I put in probably an extra 50 to 75 ml of water on top of it, just to bring it to this normal sort of porridge consistency. So let's give it a go. Texture-wise... It is a bit gritty. Um, I think because it's got not got a long cooking time, then the oats that are in you don't really have chance to break down or cook out. So I would say for me, it's a little bit gritty. Um, if I left this continue to sort of soak, would that help? I don't know. Um, Flavour wise. I do like chocolate things, but for me, this is, it's way too, I don't think it's actually chocolatey, because I don't think it's got an overly rich chocolatey flavour. Um, it's got a really nice chocolatey flavour, but for me, again, it's too sweet. Again, because there are sweeteners in you, um, I'm personally, for my taste, finding it way, way, way too sweet. For me, personally, again, a bit with with protein pancakes. Incidentally enough, actually my husband loved them, but he's got a really sweet tooth, and whereas I don't. So if you've got a sweet tooth, you probably enjoy it. And he didn't mind the, the taste of it, um, whereas I'm a little bit more funny with with tastes on, you know, sort of artificial sweeteners. So he quite enjoyed them to the point where he's really looking forward to finishing off the rest of the packet. Um, so that's a good thing. So that gives you a little bit of a contrast, I suppose, because it's easy for me to say, oh no, I'm not keen on it. But that's because, for me, I would rather these come um, without the sweetener and sweeten myself. That's what I would prefer. So, protein world, if you're listening, do an unsweetened version because there will be people like me out there that don't like things overly sweet. Even when I make my own porridge, I put very little sweetener in there because I just don't enjoy it. So yeah, that's, there's, a, there's a bit of a thing. Don't sweeten yourself, let people sweeten themselves. I could save you a bit of money as well. Um, yeah, so I know I'm not gonna eat that because it's way too sweet for me. Way, way, way too sweet. And the texture's a bit too gritty for me. Flavour of the chocolate is lovely. So if you are a sweet-toothed chocoholic, you would probably really, really enjoy this. And actually, that's a really decent sized bowl. And I would assume that that would probably keep you full. But like I said, unlike with the pancakes, where I could finish them to the end, 
I know that even one spoonful of that is too sweet for me. But what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna actually give it to my Abby and he can he can try it and then I'll let you know what he says. After two spoonfuls, there was a big grin on his face. So I knew then and then that actually he would enjoy it. So I know for well this is not gonna go to waste. Because actually it's really good because he can take this to work and just making it work because it's that and I suppose that is the thing as well it's really convenient five scoops 150 ml of water and you're done and I think actually with that you could get away with just using water you don't need to really need to use the milk so my verdict too sweet my husband is nearly halfway through it already and he's enjoying it because he loves chocolate he loves sweet stuff that's the verdict on this yeah. It's, this is actually turning out to work out really well for him because there's two things already that I'm not going to be eating. Yeah, I can see the grin on his face already. Anyway, that is that. I will um, show you the next one when it comes around. Good evening, guys. Um, so I'm trying now the final two Protein World Slender Plan things. Things. Uh, so I'm going to do the pizza mix and I'm doing the mug cake. A little bit of a spoiler alert, I've already tried the mug cake but we will try it again together. So let me have a look at the instructions for the pizza dough. Okay, pre to gas mark, oh gas mark, god I've had gas mark for years. Gas mark seven, just in case you have got gas out there. I haven't got electric. Uh, 200 fan. Um, so the instructions are 80 grams of product, three scoops of lukewarm water, half a teaspoon of olive oil. Um, then you've got to mix it together into a dough in the bowl. Knead for three minutes, allow to rest for five. Okay, next, sprinkle a small amount of flour onto the work surface. Roll out with a rolling pin to 25 centimetres. Place on a baking tray. Okay, so you put it in the oven for four minutes. Take it out, flip it over another four minutes. And then take it out, put all the toppings on, and then put it in for another four minutes. So I'm planning on doing ham and mushroom. Now for me, Doing the mushrooms for four minutes in the oven is not going to be enough. So I'm going to cook some ahead of time. Yes, I think that is the best thing. Um, yeah. So ham, mushroom, and I do have a bag of uh, mixed mozzarella and normal cheese shredded. So I'm going to be putting 30 grams of that on and a bit of tomato puree. So, yes. So I get this done. And then we will see what it looks like at the end. itself so 292 calories in the base i put 30 grams of the cheese on which is 99 slice of ham 24 mushrooms hardly anything in tomato puree so you're talking say about 440 calories for this pizza and yeah 25 inches more or less i would say it's about the same size as a tortilla wrap about the same size and I would turn around and say almost the same thickness to be honest so let's give it a go okay actually that's really good it's obviously more substantial than a tortilla wrap um and actually does taste like a bread dough it actually tastes like a really really thin crust pizza and actually, if you saw my Italy vlogs, you'd know full well the pizza crusts are really this thin. So this is probably a bit more authentic in terms of pizza than most pizzas we buy. 
actually do you know what that is really good that is really good and actually for a pizza that size with those toppings to only be about 440 calories that is really worth it that is really worth it because if you went and bought pizza from anywhere else and had that topping on there you would be talking a lot more you'd probably be talking closer to 600 calories for the amount that i've got so for me actually that is a win because it was really easy to make as well i mean really really super simple super quick you could do everything by hand that is a win i really like that and of course because it's nothing sweet i really enjoy it Oh, it's really good, and it's really good, but Habi's here, so I'm going to give him a slice, and you know, because he's been my co-tester on this video, so I'm going to give it to him and see what he thinks of it. So, he's tested it, and actually had a really good point, at, he loved the flavour of it, thought it was really, really good, but when you pull the centre part back a bit, it's still a little bit doughy. Now, I did cook this for longer than they said. I did the four minutes and four minutes. Um, then when I put it back in for the four minutes for the um, toppings, I did leave it for about six minutes in order for the cheese to melt. So I think the next time I make it, I will either try and make sure that the centre is a bit thinner, but I don't think, as much as I said, I don't think you're going to be able to get that thinner. I think it needs to be cooked for longer. But to come in from work and have a pizza ready in, let me think, less than half an hour, I mean to make it from scratch and to have it low calorie and high protein, because in this, you know, without the toppings, without the toppings, you're talking 14.6 grams of protein. So I think that is awesome. And if you're going to put sort of meat on top you could even get um so like the packet chicken you can get a barbecue chicken like you could even put that on top of this i think that would work really well as well that for me is definitely a win to the point where because it's so easy to make i would actually repurchase that to be honest i actually really would because that is so easy to make definitely 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 that is a win so we're going to finish up this pizza because no doubt we need it between us. Uh, we're going to finish up this pizza and then I'll come back to you with the mug cake. Time for the mug cake. Um, I'm just using a regular mug. It does say a quarter of a teaspoon of coconut oil melted in the bottom of the mug. I don't have coconut oil. So I'm just using a quarter of a teaspoon of um, olive oil. I'm guessing it's to stop it from... No, it can't be to stop it from sticking because you've actually got to mix it in. Anyway, it's... I don't know, obviously need something. Um, then you need uh, four scoops of the powder and three scoops of milk. It does say to use almond milk, but I don't have any. I do have coconut milk, but I'm not opening a fresh one just for that, so I've just used regular semi-skimmed milk. Will that change the macros a bit? Yes, probably. Um, and I've just got a little whisk. So I'm just whisking it all up. The one interesting thing actually that I did find when I actually made it the last time, as you can see, this colour is actually really, really milky white. But on the packet, it is that Biscoff colour. But it definitely does not come out the Biscoff colour. Because I did think, oh, does some sort of like reaction happen when it's being cooked? No, no it doesn't. No it doesn't, it does not. So, I forgot how much long, how much long, how much long, I forgot how long to put it in for. Um, cook in the microwave for 60 seconds. I did find the last time, the 60 seconds wasn't quite long enough. I think I probably put it in for, probably about 75 altogether, from what I remember. But we'll give it a go. In fact, I'm using a different mug this time. So that might have a bearing on it as well, you know, because the microwave has got to heat the mug up as well, I guess. Anyway. Let's chuck it in the microwave. <laughs> Can you see the steam? Okay, so the mug cake is done. 
Um, I did put it on for a little bit longer and it's definitely cooked now because at the one minute mark it was still quite wet around the edge. So, like I said, no chemical reaction to make it the Biscoff colour. It still very much is a light, light colour. It's got quite a... It's not, it's not light, light like a sponge. I mean, if you look at it, it looks quite... Quite aerated, but... The texture is more chewy. Does it taste like Biscoff? A bit, it does. But it's very vanilla -y. And I've got to be honest with you, this is not too sweet for me. I actually enjoy this mug cake. Like I said, this is the second time me making it, so. So I definitely think the mug cake is a win. So let's go back through the products. And I've had a little bit of a realisation, actually, as I've just said that. Let's go back through them in order. So the pancake was the first thing I did. I managed to eat the, in the entire meal of that. And I enjoyed it, but by the end, the artificially taste on it was a little bit too much for me. Again, a little bit too sweet. But my husband absolutely loved them. And I've got to turn and say, since I opened the packet, he's already eaten them about another three times. So that he enjoys. So I would probably rebuy that for him, if nothing else. Porridge, he loved that as well because he's a real chocolate sweet tooth. For me, I do like chocolate, but I prefer chocolate. I don't mind a chocolate cookie, but I'm not, I don't do chocolate porridge really myself. And the only time I have is when I've done like cocoa powder on it, which is quite bitter. So for me, this is far too sweet. But I do wonder, and this is the realisation I've had, is the fact that actually the mug cakes are quite sweet. But they don't seem too sweet or it's not overly, overly sweet. Obviously, both of these are chocolate in flavour. So I wonder whether it's not so much the sweetness, but maybe the chocolate. If I'd had other flavours, may have enjoyed them. I might have, I might have, and I'm starting to think, because this, the Biscoff one, mug cake, I love, absolutely love that, and coming into winter, I would repurchase that every single time. To have a mug cake that is only 157 calories, and has 6.5 grams of protein, every day, every day, definitely have that. For me, I'll repurchase that, and I will definitely repurchase that because I think they're, they're good wins for good protein with low calories. Um, probably won't end up repurchasing that because he would just make his own porridge. Well, tell you what it depends on. He's going to take this to work and if he falls in love with it, then, then maybe, 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 maybe. And he really enjoyed the pancakes, so I reckon even for him, I'll have to repurchase those. It would be nice to try a different flavour, actually. But yeah, so that is it. That is it. That is my rounder. Two faves for me. My husband liked them all. In fact, he's really high. <laughs> he's eyeing up this mug cake already. Because he's looking at me and saying, you don't really want that, do you? Um, even though he could just make one himself. And in fact, he has. Um, he came around the corner with one the other night. Um, so for me, so as a meal replacement, I would turn around and say, in terms of time, convenience, and the amount of protein, it is it is really good. It is really, really, really good. Um, and I said, like, the, like the, the flavors, I think a preference. If I'd had different flavors in these two, with the porridge and the pancakes, may have enjoyed them more, quite possibly, because I love the mug cake, love the mug cake, and the pizza dough is a winner. And you know me, I make my own pizza dough usually, but that is so easy, so easy, so quick. I could see me knocking that up even for lunch. It's so easy to do, so easy to do. So that, so that's it, guys. That is my Protein World Slender Plan review. I hope you've enjoyed it. But if you're looking for more high-protein meals that aren't this, you might want to check out this video next. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.